morning guys. Uh, recently I made a video on my winter pack out. It's a video on all the winter gear I carry in my backpack. But today I want to talk about my winter clothing. The three priorities of winter survival are fire, shelter, and water. And I look at my clothing as my shelter. Today we're going to be talking about natural and synthetic materials and their pros and cons. The key to staying warm and dry is a good base layer. Your base layer needs to be a material that wicks away moisture from your skin. If your skin gets wet, you will get cold. I wear a base layer made by Stanfields. It has two layers. The first layer is made from 50% cotton and 50% polyester for comfort and to keep you itch free. The outer layer is made of merino wool and polyester for warmth and dryness. The merino wool actually wicks away moisture from your skin keeping you nice and dry. The pros are it's machine washable and dryable. The next important part of staying warm is to dress in layers. It's important that these layers are loose fitting and not too many of them otherwise you start to reverse the benefits. After my base layer are wool sweaters and a good source is to shop at thrift stores and I recommend you know finding sweaters that are at least 80 percent wool now wool is a natural material that will insulate you even if it's soaking wet. I usually put on a large wool sweater, then over top of that an extra large and then a double XL so they're nice and loose fitting. It's just like if you compress the insulation in your house, it loses all of its insulative properties. The con to wool is it's not very durable and needs special care when washing. You have to hand wash it in cold water, hang dry it. But if you occasionally wear your sweater inside out or backwards, this helps prevent wear spots which usually occur in the elbow and the armpits. This jacket has a nylon inner liner insulated with duck down and has a very durable polyester shell. When I'm brushing up against branches and uh, bark, you know, I'm not worried at all. It has hand warmer pockets and attached insulated hood trimmed with fur. The hood folds back for extra visibility, but it also folds forward for extra warmth. The pros is machine washable and very warm and durable. The cons is it's kind of heavy, bulky, and the hood causes blind spots. Heli Hansen also makes a very good jacket as well. My pants are made by Heli Hansen. They're a bib style and they come all the way up to my chest and are held up with shoulder straps. They're made with a blend of cotton, nylon, polyester, and acrylic. So the outside is very durable and water resistant, the same as my jacket. And the inside is, even though it's synthetic materials, it has a very wool-like quality. So the shoulder straps keep my pants from falling down and when I bend over, I don't have to worry about cold air getting in between. These pants are very durable and warm, but they are kind of cumbersome. Next is my Bellaclava made by Inferno. It's another polyester material. It covers most of my face, head and neck, which traps heat better than say a wool cap. So when it gets really cold, you'll see me wear my snowboarding goggles and my Bula face mask. This ensures that zero skin is exposed. A wool scarf wrapped around your face will also help quite a bit. Next is my footwear. I have a very thick pair of wool blend socks rated for minus 60 Celsius. I lost all the information on them so I can't remember the, the brand name. But I think about two or three pairs of regular wool socks will have the same effect. Next are my boots. They're made by Baffin Technologies. They're called Workhorse. They're rated for minus 60 Celsius and they're size 13. I try to buy boots at least one size bigger to accommodate thick socks. And you also want some wiggle room in your boots, helps keep the blood circulating and your feet warmer. Uh, besides Baffin Technologies, Dunlop also makes a very good boot and so does Sorel. These boots are steel toed and have very good traction. The pros is they're very durable and warm but they are kind of heavy. Next up are my homemade crampons, they provide me with a lot of extra traction in rough terrain. Last but not least are my mitts. My hands are probably the most difficult thing to keep warm 
because I'm constantly taking my hands out. As you can imagine, you have almost zero dexterity wearing these. You know, undoing zippers, buckles, using a ferro rod, lighter, tying knots. Things like that are nearly impossible while wearing them. Now mitts are always going to keep your hands warmer than gloves because your fingers are touching rather than separated by gloves. Inside are a thick wool mitt with a tough leather gauntlet style shell on the outside. This leather can take quite a beating against sharp branches and bark. Fur lined mitts are better and warmer but you, know, you just can't throw those kind of things in the washing machine. And because of the gauntlet style they keep out the wind and the snow. The pros are they're very warm and durable, but the cons are you almost have zero dexterity.